so be it, I'm in Mr. Bynum's leadership class and that's when everything changed for me. And I remember he said one day, I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to be a teacher because you get to do something different every single day. Oh, I, don't, I share that story and it almost brings tears to my eyes because in that moment I realized that that's what I wanted to do. Thinking about all the opportunities that we are given and all the teachers that were a part of our growth. Sports was a big part of my time at BCHS, playing basketball, volleyball, badminton, track and field, like we had so many different opportunities and then I think of the art side, being part of the art community and um, painting sets and taking visual arts, um, that was another love of mine. And that we went to grade 13, which doesn't happen anymore, so things have changed, um, but lots of good memories and you know, even being able to be here with my sister and playing basketball uh, with her and um, yeah, really good times at BCHS. Woohoo! I have so many fond memories. I'm proud to be a graduate of Central, just like so many in my family. Um, my nana, my dad and uncles, cousins, so there's a lot of history here at Central. I loved the teachers here, and I had so many special relationships with coaches and teachers, and I think that's partly why I became a teacher myself. It means a ton to me, it means a ton to the community, and it's a, a great place to come every day and to share knowledge and learn from the kids. I'm really, really pleased that I've had this opportunity to have the majority of my career spent in this building. I've made lifelong friends, and every year is a new experience. One of them wants to be there. One of them is ready to go, and you're going to leave it all on the floor. It's about service. It's not about you, it's not about necessarily the person beside you. It's about service and what you can do for others. And that's what Central really stands for. It's been a whirlwind of a ride here. Um, there's something about the walls at this Central that draws people back to them. And once you get here, I'm not sure what it is. It's not the prettiest building, it doesn't smell the greatest, but for some reason we just can't give up the old analog clocks. You know, we love the old clocks, we love the the crickety stairs, um, the people that are here are very community oriented. I live just 1.3 kilometers away. It's these traffic lights here that slow me down on a good day. So, you know, it's a beautiful place to teach and that's why I'm still here 22 years and, you know, I've got another eight or so to go.